Hi guys, welcome back to Android Tutorial. In the previous part of this tutorial, I have already created an activity that contains a button. And in the XML file of that activity, you can see a action listener method is present here, a display method is present here. Within that display method, we just create a toast, and by using that toast, we just print out a message on the output screen. Okay. Now I am going to add one more activity to this project. So, okay, now I am going to place one more activity here. So, in order to create a new activity, I have to create the Java class file for that activity. So, I just create a new class file, name it as second activity. click finish okay here is the class file is created and also I have to create the layout for the second activity so right click the layout file and select the new option choose other option select Android select Android XML file click next the resource type is layout and specify a file name for that second layout okay click finish now you can see that the second layout for the second activity is created here okay uh, now I'm going to place a te edit text and a button here in the second layout so it is a linear layout and orientation is vertical I change it into horizontal okay now I am going to place an edit text here I'm going to specify the layout of the edit text what is equal to 170 sorry 200 density pixel and height is equal to Android layout height is equal to web content Android ID is equal to plus ID txt okay now you can see that a text area is present here and edit text is placed on the second activity also here I'm going to place a button also here so now I am going to place a button button okay all these same parameters are also present there is not 200 pixel I make it as wrap content okay also change the ID as BN2 also I place a text for the button this called from the string.xml second BN now I have to specify the identifier resource in the string.xml file so open up string.xml and here I am going to specify one more string resource name is equal to second bn and value is also submit okay we'll go to the second layout you can see that in the graphical layout the button name is button text is changed to submit okay 
now I am going to invoke this second activity from the first activity so go to the first activity to Java there is a button is present and an on click method is present there the method is here so now I am going to call the second activity from here so I have to create an intent object for the second activity so intent is equal to new intent com dot example dot second activity specified it is in quotes okay now I have to call the second activity using the start activity for result start activity also pass the intent object you have to import the intent so it is not i it is intent ok now I have to set the content view for the second activity so here I have to create the I have to override some method called the onCreate before I have to extend this activity the activity class extends activity import the activity also here we have to import some override method here I just import the onCreate method now I have to set the content view of the activity set content view r dot layout dot second layout <coughs> now I have to specify the second activity on the Android manifest XML file so go to the Android manifest XML file and go to the XML here an activity already present here so in the project I'm also created a second activity so I have to space place the second activity field in the manifest file list the name is dot class name dot second activity so okay and indent filter we have to specify the indent filter action here action is com dot example dot second activity this is not a launcher this is a default category okay that's it now we connect the connect this activities together so now I'm going to run the project okay now you can see that the project is loaded the submit button is present here this is the first activity that we have already created and I press the submit button it will go to the second activity in that second activity there is a new text and submit button is present here okay guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial